Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to set email notifications for product documentation, downloads, and notices on the support.avaya.com website. Now I will demo how to set the e-notifications. To access the Avaya Support website, start your browser application. For this demo, I am using Internet Explorer. Also, you must already have a login and password for the Avaya Support website before you can set up e-notifications. To start, type support.avaya.com for the URL and press Enter. The Avaya Support web page will display. Now scroll to the bottom of this web page. In the bottom right, click on Set e notifications under the Alerts and Reports heading. If you have not recently logged into the support website, the login page will display. If you don't have a login for the support site, click on the sign up link on the right side of the web page. For this demo, I'm assuming you already have a login registered, so you would enter that email address and password and click the submit button. As an Avaya employee, I only need to enter my Avaya handle and password, which I'll do now. After a few seconds, the e-notifications web page displays. The top portion of the screen shows who is logged in and provides tabs for the user management, search, and tools functions. You can click on the user management tab to access these other functions. The bottom section of the screen allows you to configure the e-notification settings. I will scroll down to display the entire e-notification section. The left side allows you to set general notifications for several types of notices. If you select any of these general notifications, then you will receive emails for the selected notices for all products. I currently have no general notifications selected. To select a notification, click the box next to that notice type and then click the Update button. You can select more than one notice type. I'll select Product Correction Notices and Security Advisories and then click the Update button. A confirmation window will appear. Click OK to make the change or cancel to abort the change. I am going to click OK. The web page displays a submission successful message. The right side of the e notification section allows you to set notifications for only specific products. So this is more granular than the general notifications for all products. The product notifications also allow for a larger set of documentation types than under the general notification category. I currently have three products I receive email notices for. If I click the box next to Show Details, the documentation types I've selected for each product will display. 
As I scroll down, you will see I have chosen many documentation types for these products. Now I'll uncheck the Show Details box. To remove a product and all associated documentation types, click on the box to the right of that product, then click on the Remove Selection button which will become active. I'll remove Call Center Elite from my product notifications. A confirmation window displays. Click OK to make the change or cancel to abort. I will click OK. A removal message displayed and then the window refreshed showing that Call Center Elite was removed from my list. Now I'll add Call Center Elite back to my product list. To add any product, click on the Add More Products link in red. The eNotifications Add More Products window displays. I'll scroll to the bottom of this window. The top portion is the same as on the previous window. Use the scroll bar to move down the list to find the product you want to add. I'll search for Avaya Aura Call Center Elite. Next, click on the product name. A new section for Avaya Aura Call Center Elite appears to the right of the products list. Click on the drop down arrow to select a release and version. By default, this field is set to all and future releases. You can leave it at the default or select a more specific release version from the list. I will select 6.2.x for this product. Next, you need to select which documentation or notice types you want to receive email notifications on. You can select multiple items from the list. Use the scroll bar to move down the list. Click on the box to the right of the documentation type to select it. Unfortunately, there is not a Select All option, so you have to select each item separately. Then click the Submit button. I'll select several documentation types for this product and then click on Submit. The window displays a submission successful message. Now you could select another release version for this product and then select documentation notifications for that release also. I'll do that for release 5.0.x. If you want notifications for additional products, select a new product from the list on the left. I'll choose Product Call Management System Supervisor from the product list.
the product name on the right section changed to Call Management System Supervisor. I'll leave the release version as the default of all and future, then I'll select some documentation types and click Submit. Again, the Submission Successful message displays. Now to return to the main eNotifications page, click on the My Notifications link in the Products section. The eNotifications page displays. Now I have four products that show up under the Product Notifications section. The Avaya Aura Call Center Elite and Call Management System Supervisor products are now shown in the list. In the future, you can return to this e-notifications page to add, remove, or modify your email notification settings as often as necessary. If you want to just change the documentation categories for a product already in your list, click on the product name. I'll click on Avaya Aura Call Center Elite. The Edit Document Categories window displays. Again, you would select the release version from the drop down list or leave it as the default. I'll select 6.2.x. The documentation categories I've selected show up. If you want to change any of these categories, then click on the box next to the category type to either select or deselect it. Again, you would use the scroll bar to move up and down the list. I will make some changes and then click the Save button. A successful message briefly appears and then the e-notification window refreshes. This concludes the demo on how to set email notifications on the support.avaya.com website. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.